Hey everyone, uh, so this is the thing you're going to be working on. This is the cold vapor finished final product. Uh, it's kind of hard to see on this video, but it is really smooth. It is like uh, cast plastic. You can't tell this thing was 3D printed in most parts of it. Um, also want to mention it's actually a pretty dangerous technique. Uh, you're working with acetone vapors, which are explosive, so um, be aware of that and don't do it anywhere near any open flames and make sure you put it in a well ventilated area or outside if possible as long as it's not too cold um, anyway let's begin and here's what you'll need first is a container uh, airtight and acetone resistant this one is made from polypropylene but polyethylene, HDPE, glass or ceramic are great choices as well make sure it's large enough to vapor finish the models you want and that it seals really well some paper towels, also some acetone of course, and some aluminium foil or aluminium foil if you're in America. And you'll also want something to vapor finish. It needs to be printed from ABS plastic though. So once you have all the goodies together, the first thing is to place the aluminium foil on the bottom of the container. This is so that your model doesn't stick to your container as it softens. Next, grab some paper towels. No, 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 not the model, the towels. Yes, that's right. You want to get a single square of paper towel like this and fold it up. And then soak it with acetone. Uh, make sure you put the lid back on. Grab your lid and then rest it in place. And then you want to unfold your paper towel. You want to jam just the edge of the paper towel under the lid so that it hangs vertically inside. This will speed up the vaporizing of the acetone inside the container. Repeat this process for one or two more paper towels. If you have a large object, you may even want to recharge the paper towels after an hour or so. Then just place your ABS model inside and wait. You should check on it every hour or so and then take it out when it's about 80% as finished as you'd like it. It'll take another couple of hours to fully outguess and it'll keep getting smoother during this time. Also remember that the model will be pretty soft so avoid touching with your fingers. And here's the model before the vapor finishing and here's what it looks like after three hours in the chamber. Incredibly smooth, like cast plastic. You can't even see any of the lines on the vertical surfaces. It doesn't even look like it was 3D printed anymore. The only weakness to the system is the horizontal areas, like the top of her head or the top of the uh, tiger's head. Don't get the same smooth treatment, and you'll still see some steps. But overall, it's an incredible technique, really easy to do, and it's fairly painless. If you like this video, or want me to do other ones similar to this, just let me know. Give me some ideas for videos you'd like to see. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.